Sun peaking through by noon at 82 and 90 degrees. Our planning forecast high temperature tomorrow afternoon, about 5 o'clock or so, with skies becoming mostly sunny. Let's plan forward to tomorrow night and our KBVO big game of the week, Dell Valley at Bowie, right here at Burger Center. We're expecting for you folks attending the game. It's going to be real enjoyable. Partly cloudy, about 83 degrees at kickoff. Winds a little bit breezy, southeasterly at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And since we're on the topic of football, let's get right to the big game. That, of course, is in the Cotton Bowl up here uh, in Dallas on Saturday. Kickoff at 11 o'clock in the morning. May see some showers. I would take one of those little bitty foldable disposable ponchos maybe in my back pocket just in case. About a 20% chance right now, the way it looks with temperatures in the 80s during the game. Winds may be a little bit of a factor. South, southeast, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. All right, back here at home tonight. Uh, it's nice, 73 out in Fredericksburg at the Gillespie County Airport, 78 in Burnett, 75 in Marble Falls. Metro area looking good. Uh, 78 in South Austin, 78 in Round Rock, 79 up in Georgetown. Our eastern counties, uh, most everybody at 77 or 78. Austin's officially 80 right now with a clear sky at Camp Mabry. Out at the airport, it's 78 and skies are clear. Winds a bit breezy, south at 9 in town and south at 17 miles per hour at ABIA. Mole count better today, about half as many as yesterday at 14, 15. That's still high. Ragweed at 44, though, is low. And around the state, Mostly 70s to near 80. Pretty nice everywhere. It'll cool up in the Panhandle. They've had some rain up in the Amarillo area tonight. You can see those showers up there. That's a sign of things to come here in Texas. Finally, the first big storm system of the autumn season moving through the west. And this is a powerful one. It's put a foot of snow in the Sierra of Northern California. It's headed this direction, but like these storms sometimes do, it'll head down toward the four corners. Then it's going to lift up into the northern plains. But as it approaches, we'll see enough energy move across the state that we should see some heavy rain. Rainfall in northwestern parts of the state, and believe me, they need it almost as badly as we do. Maybe two to four inches up there. Here in our area, it's too early to be specific on totals. Generally, though, a half inch to one and a half inches uh, cannot be ruled out, with along a line west of Highway 281 being the area most likely to see at least an inch of rain. But we'll tweak this over the next couple of days, and maybe we can spread that heavier rain east. But that's this weekend. Now, between now and then, we just see an increase in moisture and increase in cloud cover. We should begin to see scattered showers on Saturday, kind of like up in Dallas. Temperatures here overnight tonight falling back into the upper 60s to right around 70. And then tomorrow afternoon we'll see high temperatures approaching 90 degrees in most areas. In Austin tonight, low clouds streaming back in later with 69 degrees for a low in the morning. 90 tomorrow afternoon, morning low clouds and the sunshine breaking through and just a little bit uh, breezy. 92 on uh, Friday. On Saturday, we'll go 40%. That may be a little optimistic, but a 40% chance of showers certainly by the uh, late, late in the day. And then a 50% chance of some rain and some thunderstorms on Sunday.